we are going to now do serial dilution and spread plates. I'm going to be plating this overnight culture of Escherichia coli. The E. coli needs to be well mixed before I start. The first step in the procedure is to label my tubes. I'm going to be doing 10 to the minus 7 dilutions. So I have 7 tubes and I've labelled them minus 1 to minus 7. We always label on the tube and not the cap because the tubes always go with the contents whereas the caps can be switched. Also, the tubes will wash clean when they're reused. The caps retain previous markings which can cause confusion if you're marking on the caps. We're going to be taking one mil our E. coli solution and transferring it into our 10 to the minus 1 tube which contains 9 mils of diluent, in this case PBS. This is giving our 1 in 10 dilution. Then 1 mil of this after mixing is taken and put into the 10 to the minus 2 tube giving us a 1 in 100 dilution. This procedure will continue down to the 10 to the minus 7. We will then plate the 10 to the minus 7, the 10 to the minus 6, and the 10 to the minus 5 dilutions. So, within our clean space, we turn our flame onto our blue working flame. We can now open our uh, pipette tips. We load our one mil pipette, we mix our E. coli culture to make sure that our bacteria haven't sunk to the bottom. Remove the bottom with the little finger, flame the net, expel the air down to the first stop. Put in the tip without touching the bottom of the neck. Slowly release the pressure to draw up the liquid, making sure not to release too quickly and cause the liquid to jump. Flame the neck, replace the bum. Move in your tubes into your sterile area. Loosen the cap. Remove the cap. Flame the neck of the tube. Expel the liquid down to the second stop, flame the neck and replace the cap. We then vortex mix. So placing the tube on the vortex mixer with the vortex mixer set to touch, place one finger and one thumb either side of the tube below the cap and a finger on the cap to give a secure hold. The liquid will rise as far as the fingers which form the pivot and the finger on top can provide pressure and keep the cap on. The caps are not watertight. If you press on them like that they will overflow and contaminate the liquid, the tube and the vortex mixer and your hands. Press down and get a good vortex on your liquid. When you're sure it's adequately mixed, loosen the cap, and load a pipette tip. Remove the cap, flame the neck, expel the air, insert the tip, draw up one mil, Remove the tip, flame the neck, put the tube back at the back of the rack so that you don't mix it up. It's easy to lose your place during a serial dilution. Loosen the next cap, remove the cap, flame the neck, expel down to the last stop, remove the tip, flame, close the tube, 
expel the tip. Four sex mix. Make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. Serial dilutions will not work without a good vortex. When you're sure it's well mixed, load the next tip, loosen the cap. Take the cap, blame the neck, spell down to the upper stop, carefully draw up one mill, blame. Place the cap, move to the back of the rack, loosen the cap, play the neck, place in the liquid, expel the tip, flame, replace the lid, and vortex. Well mixed, repeat again. Loosen the cap, play in the neck, take a tip, expel the air to the upper stop, draw up carefully one mil of liquid, play in the neck, replace the cap, move to the back of the rack, take the next tube. Spell the liquid down to the last stop. Spell the tip. And vortex. Loosen the cap. Flame the neck. Take the new tip. Draw up one mil. It's worth noting that. These tips have a line on them which shows where one mil is. So you can see if you've drawn up air where you should have drawn up liquid. But if you keep the tip well in place, there shouldn't be an issue. And transfer it on to the next tube. see with the first few tubes that from our initial solution which is very turbid to our next solution which is still a little turbid you can just see a hint of cloudiness in the next tube but from there on down you can no longer see your culture so you want to make sure that you don't mix up your tubes because you can't necessarily see whether or not you've added your bacteria. And if you add twice or fail to add, it will show up in your plates.